Hello, this is Ute from Ute Server Witch Corner. I hope you had a wonderful weekend as we had. Um, we were extremely busy because every two years is the time when we redo our plants and redo our uh, greenhouse and uh, we had growing bags and they are yeah we have to say they are rotten after a certain time and now we got new bins big ones six I think it's six of them had to fill them with dirt and with soil and yeah it was a lot and what we um, planned I will tell you by the end of the video because <laughs> the reason for this video is honeysuckle Another thing which is right now beside all of our things we are doing around our backyard, our little farm, um, the, the dandelion season, bagelweed season and honeysuckle. These three plants, um, what you would say weed, are coming out nearly <clears throat> day after day after day. So the dandelions are done, the bagelweed is kind of done and now the honeysuckle um, is ready to go. So this, as you can see here, is honeysuckle. Let me show it to you a little bit more. I'm sure you know that. Oh, there are some bucket beads in it. <laughs> so this is the honeysuckle. Okay, the, the blue ones is still the bucket beat. Um, I put it in because it looks so beautiful. So the honeysuckle right now, it's still the flowering are still white. They will turn yellow in a couple of days so I have to hurry up and have keep an eye on it so I'm not missing this part I can use or we as herbalists we can use the white flowers we can use the leaves and we can use the flowers when they turn yellow what you also can so, can do but it's not so tasty right now so you you take the flower and you suck on it and it's like a candy it's sweet and what we have here is the honeysuckle let me get it to you honeysuckle and as you can see it's with the yellow oopsie it's with the yellow flowers so some of them are already yellow some of them are still white so this is a honeysuckle tea you can also mix the tea um if you like more f refreshing taste and not so sweet because honeysuckle is sweet um put some mint in it um, I tried, that's not bad. Um, but now you want to hear, I guess, what is honeysuckle good for besides it's growing everywhere in my yard and I don't like it. I even saw on Facebook, somebody is um, was asking, who wants honeysuckle? I want to get rid of it. Uh, we have tons and everywhere, so we are good. But honeysuckle, especially the honeysuckle tea, um, the benefits for the tea or the tincture, we have here tincture, honeysuckle tincture, made with alcohol. Um, the benefits for you, what honeysuckle has for you is digestive disorders, including pain, when you have pain, um, swelling, you can say inflammation, or the small intensin and di dysentery. Oh God, dysentery, what words? <laughs> it can help you with hepatitis C, diarrhea, vomiting not that you are vomiting when you take the tea no the opposite it helps you to keep everything inside um, it also can help you with upper respiratory tract infection including colds influenza the swine flu um, and pneumonia other viral and bacterial infection swelling of the brain fever boils sores so honeysuckle is also used for the uti um, area, <clears throat> excuse me, um, headache, diabetes, arthritis, and cancer. Some people use it to promote sweating um, and as a light laxative, a light laxative, not that you get diarrhea, it's a light la laxative, um, and for birth control. Seriously, <laughs> I would not. But it's me. I mean, I'm over the age, um, but I would not trust really an herb for birth control, even if I'm an herbalist. But these are things I would not trust. But the saying is, how is it there that honeysuckle can uh, use for birth control? Don't take me by these words, because I don't think 
Um, seriously, it can 100% help you if you don't want a baby. But this is what honeysuckle has for you. Okay, so mainly regarded in traditional Chinese medicine, the honeysuckle has long been used for natural home remedy to treat, as I said, inflammation, stomach upset, upper respiratory infection, so here coughing and such, fever and more. The Japanese honeysuckle, and that's here what we have here and what you have in your yard, I'm sure, um, the, it's called the Japanese honeysuckle, in particular has been shown to offer numerous um, benefits. Um, as always, the herbs is not just one benefit, like um, you, you can say it's just for this. No, there are tons of benefits from each herb or each plant for you. Okay, so um, people use honeysuckle for indigestion, bacterial or viral infection, memory, um, diabetes, a normal cold and many other conditions. So this little no it's not little <laughs> uh, it's a big plant it's in our yard we have bushes really bushes of honeysuckle in every corner you can see the honeysuckle so i have to hurry up um to get the right in time when they are white like this i can get them and as i said when they are turning yellow so it's it's time consuming because i have to get right in time out in the yard and see are you yellow now okay now you're still white so because i would like to have them in yellow or yellow and white in mix for the honeysuckle tea so to come back what i said from the beginning we had a lot a lot to do this um weekend um i just want to give you an idea what we did and as i said we are doing this so i would say every two years that we renew our plants we already have to have fresh plants um the old ones are still there but that's what we are doing um we planted for example valerian yarrow beetroot parcel sage oregano thyme basil four different kinds of letters cucumber echinacea, chamomile, calendula. So, and in the next couple of weeks, we have, as you know, we have not just growing our plants or herbs in soil. No, we have hydroponic as well. So, and we will have soon grown in hydroponic, ashwagandha, feverfew, hops, goldenrod, sangchongsworth, meadowsweet, mint, white lettuce, or mooline. So, for ashwagandha, for example, you say, what is she talking about? Ashwagandha, you use the roots. Yeah, you are right. But we can start from the seeds in hydroponic. And as soon we have the, the first couple of leaves or the second round of the leaves, then I can go ahead and plant it from hydroponic into normal soil for the roots for ashwagandha. All the other ones like feverview and goldenrod, St. John's word and so on, we can let it grow um, in hydroponic. Okay, so um, maybe it was interesting for you and you are looking in your yard in a different way now because you know honeysuckle is a useful like dandelion like buckleweed and now honeysuckle it's useful it's tasty and even let your kid uh, your kids use here we are take one of the flowers they are sweeter when they are yellow let them suck on it and you will realize they say mom it tastes like candy we have candy in our yard so <laughs> uh, try it out so yeah, this is um, the story about and the benefits about honeysuckle. And I hope you learned a little bit about what you have in your yard and you can use. Um, we will have a lot of honeysuckle. And as I said, we have the tea and the tincture. Here's the tincture. And both of them is um, available in our cute little shop here in Plattsmouth. Okay, so by the way, please like and subscribe somewhere here <laughs> to our YouTube channel and click on the bell so you will not miss any of our new videos coming out every weekend for you. And so you don't have to, to look at our channel, you automatically get the information. Hey, she has a new video. Yay! <laughs> what is she talking about today? If you have any other question during the week, 
let us now come to my shop or our shop and we can help you in any way. I have some dandelion honey left, but not so much, but it will be a couple more glasses for the first the farmer's market, which is in four weeks, the 1st of June. Um, and also, of course, honeysuckle and on all of our other beautiful, healthy alternative medicine, um, herbs, creams, teas and whatever you are wishing to see. We have it for you. OK, OK, I think this is the video for today about honeysuckle, honeysuckle tea and our honeysuckle tincture and a little bit of our yeah, I want to say farm life, what we are doing when we are not on shows, we are busy, um, busy for you to have all the newest plants and the fresh plants just for you and for your health. OK, yeah, so that's it. I want to say bye bye. Oh, no, 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 Ute. Don't do that. Bang. <laughs> I forgot it nearly. Oh, my God. No, I am not a doctor. I am your master herbalist. I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. All the information we are sharing in our videos with you are from us, from our family, friends and customers, but we will never, never, never give you any medical advice. I nearly forgot this. Oh, 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 bad. <laughs> okay, let's say bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Love and light. Your Ute from Ute's Herbal Witch Corner. See you soon. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.